Incredible weapons, astonishing helmets and masks, and intimidating costumes, armor, and more. Keep your boots on the ground and thrust your sword to the Skyrim in this episode of Extra Content. Among games, Skyrim inspires artists and makers like virtually none other. Obsession with this game runs so deep that for some, Skyrim has become a way of life. It should come as no surprise that prop making is where Skyrim shines, and the most popular prop is easily the Dragonborn helmet. Each artist has his or her own take on the design. Shanclaw opts for real steel, we'll see the full cosplay later, and Carl Walsh based his helmet on a tight-edged design and added weathering that evokes a dangerous history. Redditor Lictu traded style for satiety with his Baconborn helm, and it's tempting to put him high on the hog, but that would undersell this fur-trimmed, spiral-horned magnificence. Bravo, Athis, for a great helmet and pictures that do it justice. The cold-rolled excellence doesn't stop there, either. Carl Walsh's first helmet didn't fit, so he won this one from an ancient Nordic warrior. Billy? Renegade Cow is utterly protected by his Stormcloak helm. And Mr. Pinsky pepped up Mr. Pointy here, an Ingall helmet. Finally, Vulpin is lucky to have this gorgeous creation in his life, and that ancient Nord helmet turned out pretty good as well. The cosplayer and maker pictured here is Nihilistique wearing banded iron armor. She isn't alone on the Lady Dova scene either. Emily Rossa ponders the plight of the Dragonborn before visiting the bank to check on her latest deposits. And Error sees only blood. Artifake's take is beautifully polished with a great sense of detail, but for pure feel, Florinda Zanetti conquers. Her grim expression and the hard, hopeless color palette turns a nice costume into something special. But Skyrim cosplay isn't all ladies, and thankfully, it isn't all Dova Keen either. Kimlink says keep moving, nothing to see here. But I get a feeling that Zerios, in full Daedric armor, wants to be seen. Here's Mythos Nightingale in a frozen glen, and Canis Panthera's Stormcloak soldier isn't frozen, but he looks cold. Blooded. Kasuzami Yu's Forsworn-inspired character looks like she might be both. Now, how about some fan art without all this funky leather? This is a 3D print made on an Ultimaker by Visions, the actual sculptor of the original model. You can get the file on Thingiverse. And while you're printing it out, ponder with me whether PETA objects to dragon slaying. Think of some place to stick these chibi cabbages and watch my favorite Skyrim cartoon about 1,700 times, because that print's gonna take a while. Odd and noble. It's a real privilege to have a hero like you. Okay, back to the stabby stuff. Nordic hordes need iron swords, so Nexus FX gladly obliged. Meanwhile, Wabajack was whipped up by Jarman props. Wow. Visions also made a Diedrich dagger that started out as a ZBrush model. It was then milled from wood and cast in plastic. Evil Effects, a different maker, used different methods, but went all the way. And Neon Hybrid Steel War Axe uses laser-cut styrene real estate signs and is no less impressive. In an extra content that is absolutely packed with epic builds, it's damned difficult to pick just one of something. So hard that I didn't bother. Now let's enjoy these Dragon Priest masks. Corroder666 is sick for these. He's got Otar the Mad, Dukan the finger-mouthed, Hefnerak the stiff, and uh, Sprucey the flammable. So, you fancy a Dragon Priest mask of your own? Ikalabob has an instructable for this golden boy, or you can go the budget route. Everything in this video is in the description. If you saw one cool thing here, like and subscribe for more. Extra content depends on you to succeed. Your friends like awesome stuff too. Please tell one right now and be a part of the movement to make independent shows like Extra Content a viable career, not just for me, but for creators everywhere. Maybe even you. And now, here's your extra, extra content. They're not exactly Skyrim related, but this medieval Batman armor would certainly look at home there. And Khajiit need more love, so pour it onto Desert Walker by Snow Scatty. This has been Ian with Verbal Processing for extra content. Cheers. Still hanging out? Watch more amazing artwork and cosplay videos with extra content. Just click one of those boxes right now.